Hello and welcome to another Japan Crate video. This one is the August 2022 crate. So last month I resubscribed to Japan Crate because I've had a hankering for Japanese snacks. So we took a look at July's one last month uh, and now it is time for this month's one, August. Although technically when this goes up it's not quite August yet but still. Uh, so in front of us today we have the crate. Now for those of you wondering what the paper's about, they, they've just stuck a massive label with my address on the top which makes it a little bit difficult to film a video for. So I'm going to hold this tight, we'll take a look. That is the website, which I'll link down below if you want to get your own. They are pretty cool, they ship all around the world. That's their social media, they've got a TikTok, okay, interesting. And that's the back, and below is blank, which is usually where they put my address on. Um, but instead they put it on the top. So I'm going to go slice the uh, tape open now, and we'll take a look. All right, I've sliced the... Uh, tape and I decided to stick a piece of paper onto the front so that we can lift the lid a little bit. Uh, so much like last time I'm not going to give you guys a peek either uh, or myself we are simply going to have a look at this. Uh, oh very very ornate. I'm going to take a very quick look and I'll be right back. So the booklet itself actually folds out to a summer matsuri kind of um, summer festival thing that uh, is traditional in Japan. We've got the uh, the nice little masks there. Man, I'd, I'd love to go to a, uh, a summer festival just to buy some of these masks. They look kind of cool. Not these specific ones, but is that Umaru-chan? No, I, I don't think it is. I think those are traditional Japanese things. And we've got some signs. Uh, in, in, a, in, ne, something. Fudo and ichi, Ichigo, uh, so that's probably Ichigo ice cream, uh, strawberry ice cream, uh, Budo, Budo, uh, Ingo, Ingo, and I can't read that. Um, but yeah, okay, cool, there we are. Uh, right, so I'm not going to show you guys what's inside, because again, that would be a cheat as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab something from inside. Our first thing is Fian uh, Kurage. Kurage? Um, oh, oh, this looks like a DIY kit, I'm guessing. It's going to make jelly, whatever the hell those are. I assume there's, there's a cute uh, thing there. Uh, oh, hang on, wait, that says Bain Soda. So it looks like pineapple, maybe, possibly, uh, or soda flavoured. So. That's kind of interesting. Let's see what this is. This is the DIY Jellyfish Aquarium. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. I'm very summer themed, obviously, so I'm guessing kind of make jelly fish, if that makes sense. Jellyfish, get it? It's fish made of jelly, but also jellyfish are a type of fish. Wait, are they a type of fish? Am I wrong about that? Okay, I'm going to grab the really big thing here. Ooh, Ariel. Ariaru. Cool. And this is Cheda Chizu. Sorry, that, that took me a second. That's Cheda Chizu. Cool. So this is cheese flavoured Ariel. I've never heard of Ariel before. YBC. I've never heard of that brand before either. That's really interesting, actually. Uh, cool. Well, I'm guessing this is Cheddar Cheese Ariel flavour. Let's take a look. This is Ariel Rich Cheese, uh, which is weird because it is it is actually cheddar cheese. Um, and in my haste to read the uh, carnet that I saw on the package, I yet again completely missed that it actually says in English cheddar cheese. So I imagine you guys could have probably uh, told me this is cheddar cheese before I even could. Um, yeah, these sound a bit like the Cheese Zack um, snacks from last month's crate. Which I really liked, actually. Um, one of those things that I was like, oh, I like cheese snacks, but actually, oh. This is peachy, peachy something, peachy san, peachy sian, sian, because that's chan. Oh, peach chan. That took me a while. Ah, oh. well, that's, that's very cute. That's peach chan, apparently. Uh, these feel like lots of individual, like, jelly sweets, maybe, I'm guessing, and I'm guessing maybe peach-flavoured. 
Um, actually, that does kind of... I don't know if that does look like a peach, actually. I enjoy packages that have cute anime eyes on them. Uh, oh, okay. I think we can be pretty convinced this is Peach-chan. Uh, nice. Let's take a look at exactly what this is. That is indeed Peach-chan, and they're inspired by sweet and sour peaches. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I mean, I, I'm always a... Honestly, I really like peach-flavoured stuff. When I say they're jelly as well, I think I was wrong. They're more like hard, well not hard, but you know like chewy kind of sweets. Uh, kind of that stuff. Ooh, next we've got crackers. Uh, okay, we've got pizuko. Bis bisco, bisco, okay. Biscuits, bisco biscuits probably. I uh, can't really tell what flavour it is, but that is, that is a child who's just smiling. Uh, that is picking up as a face on my camera as well. Uh, oh, Gulon. Gul Gul okay, that's interesting. Wait, Gulon. Gul uh, actually, no. No, that's not the uh, make I was thinking of. Okay, let's check out what these are. This is a Bisco Mini Pack. Uh, and yeah, so they're, they're kind of vanilla flavoured uh, biscuits with milk from Hokkaido, apparently. Which is pretty cool. And try and. Put that a little more centrally, so we're not getting a shadow on the uh, on the cheat sheet. Next up, ooh, okay, we've got nata de coco peach gummy. Uh, could be reading that wrong, I think, but that definitely says peach gummy. Uh, so we've got a bit of a peach theme, and actually, ooh, man, that's kind of weird, actually. So these are gummy cubes, from what I can feel, uh, peach flavored ones, I bet, kind of cubes like him. But they're cold. They're really cold for some reason. Um, that's kind of weird. Anyway, let's see exactly what these are. These are Nata de Coco Peach. And apparently, if you're very lucky, you'll find maybe one of these gummies with a smiley face on it. Which uh, sounds adorable. I mean, that would make sense. There is a smiley cube on the front there. Uh, next up, I'm kind of going for like smaller things first. Ooh. What is... okay. Um, what? Okay, we've got fu Fuerumune? Fueramune. So, something... Fueramune. Ooh! Oh! Oh, this is cool! Okay, ah! Fueramune. So... Are these similar to the ones from last month's crate, I wonder? The, um, the whistle? Where you kind of put one of these between your lips and you blow and it makes a whistly sound. I don't know what that is exactly, but there's there's a lot going on. Is that upside down? That is yes, that's upside down. Still not really sure. Is there a duck? A duck that's flying or something? This is this is strange. <laughs> I'm genuinely not sure what this is. Uh, let's take a look. So this is Whistle Ramune. So I think Fue actually is like an onomatopoeic um, thing of whistling. So yeah, these are eight whistling candies, much like the ones from last month's crate. And apparently there's a mystery toy at the back here. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Now, as with a lot of these things, especially that, because it's got a mystery toy in it, Stay tuned, because I will be putting up a Japanese snack reviews episode. So, obviously, I'm not going to be eating and reviewing all of these in this episode, because uh, I tried it once, and the episode was just over an hour long. So, I thought, mm, okay, I'm going to break this up into little segments. This is the unboxing video. I will be putting up a review of most of these things. Not all of them, because, you know, I the other video would be really long as well then, but... Um, We've got Korukia. Korukian. Ko. That's not Ru, is it? Korekian. Maybe? Cool. I don't know what that. Uh, Fuchia. And then there's lots of kan kanji. I'm guessing these are like chewing gums. They feel like they're balls. They're round balls, basically. Let's see. This is Korokan Candy, uh, and apparently it's got like a light and fluffy texture, and it's cola flavoured. I am always down for cola flavoured stuff. Um, honestly, not, not enough things are cola flavoured these days. Oh, well, I guess they are in Japan, because I've just proven myself wrong. 
Uh, but you know, in general, over here anyway. Ooh. Okay. Naru. Naru. That is n, isn't it? Naru. Mini. Oh, okay. I think these are similar to the other things we had last month as well, which are the kind of mini Oreo things. Uh, and I will say, actually, I had them. Uh, I didn't. Noir. Naru. Naru. Noir. Okay. I kind of get what they're going for, I guess. Noir. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, they were actually really nice. They were. They were a little bit um, darker, like darker chocolate flavour than I was expecting actually, so I was very impressed. But yeah, these are Noir Mini, I guess they're going to be dark chocolate biscuits with vanilla flavour. These are Noir Mini, uh, and yeah, as I expected, just like the bitterness of the dark, dark chocolate kind of bit, or dark cocoa um, biscuit outside, and the vanilla inside. Next, oh, next up we've got a, oh. Okay, uh, is that upside down? No, it is. Uh, soup corn. Soup corn. Soup corn. Uh, popcorn, I guess it? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, it feels like popcorn. I really like the uh, design of that, actually. Sucos, sucoso, sucoso. Actually, that's not, is it? Or is it? Oh, I can't remember now. I think it's meant to be katakana. Uh, so it's corn, right? Well, let's see. Uh, that, yeah, I'm guessing popcorn. Uh, I don't know exactly what that would be, even. Uh, shrimp? Is that a shrimp? Shrimp? Popcorn? These are shrimp flavoured scone. Uh, so, okay, they're not actually popcorn. Um, they're kind of more, uh, well, salty, more savoury, I guess. They are salt free though, apparently. That has really got my uh, interest, so that'll be definitely be going on the uh, Japanese snack review. Next up, oh ooh dear, we have a rather battered um, orangey, uh, yeah, orange gum, I'm guessing, kind of like small gum. Uh, I mean, it's wrapped in plastic, but the, the box is slightly battered, but as you can hear, there's lots of little bits of gum in there, so let's see. This is indeed, this is indeed orange gum. Uh, yeah, and it tastes of Japanese oranges, which do actually taste a little bit different, I have noticed. They're, um, they're not quite as sweet. Oh, they are sweet, but in like a different way. Hello. Um, um, cool. Uh, that's kanji, unfortunately, so I can't read that. He's a happy little bunny, isn't he? This feels like a round, like, wafer kind of thing. Yeah, kind of like a round biscuit wafer. God, he's a chunky boy, isn't he? Um, right, I've got no idea. Maybe is this savoury, I wonder? These are, of course, bunny senbei. Uh, so senbei are, like, soy-flavoured rice crackers. Um, that is bunny-flavoured. You can nibble away at them like a rabbit. Um, I'm all, I've had senbei in the past, and they're not particularly... I mean, you could nibble them, I guess, but there's not a lot there, so, like, you're not going to nibble very long. Uh, ooh. Ame futo. Ame futo. Budo. Ame budo. Okay. Not sure what that is. Um, I mean, obviously, it's, it feels like gum. Uh, another pack of gum, like blackberry, I'm guessing. Um, what was it? Budo ame. Budoame, because don't they write, read from right to left? Am I wrong there? It's very strange, there's two like lines of it. But yeah, I'm guessing this is gum. This is grape candy. Uh, and yeah, it's it's got the uh, taste of Japanese grapes, which are a little bit more mellow, as as, as they say in the description, actually. It's uh, any time I've had Japanese grape-flavoured stuff, it's always... Uh, it's always a little bit different too. That looks like pills. <clears throat> okay. Uh, oh, I think these are like chewing gums, right? Um, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to read. Everything's so reflective. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing these are like chewing gums, or maybe just popping candy or regular candy bits. 
These are fortune chocolate. I don't fully understand. Uh, the double is the a fortune kind of telling thing apparently, but I don't know how that is meant to work. Um, I guess like red is no and green is yes, no? I don't, I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments below if I'm missing something, but like there's nothing on these that's like yes or no or like a smiley or a frowny face, right? I'm not like, am I missing something here? That's interesting. Uh, next up, ooh, oh, hang on, sorry, we have something on top of, uh, oh, we have ma Macken Gummy, Macken Gummy, okay, cool, don't know what that is, I'm not going to lie, um, although it feels like, it's like a gummy thing, but in like a plastic outer shell, if that makes sense. That's very interesting. Are they going to be hands or bunnies? I don't know what's going on. Okay, that's pretty cool actually. It's Macken Gummy uh, and it's cola flavour and it comes in the shape of Junkin Ho, uh, which is the three rock, paper, scissors uh, kind of things. That's really cool. I like that. That makes more sense now. There's like hands and stuff. Very cool. Next. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Yeah, boy. Hang on. Uh, uh, oh, I cannot read that. Good lord. Um, we've got Bisuketo. Bisuketo. And then there's Kanji no, Kanji me no, something. I'm, uh, oh, hang on. Raseke. Raske. Rask. Aishi. Uh, Aishi Rask. So, Aishi Rusk. Um, oh, hang on. Zakza? Zakza. Zakza. No, Zakza. I don't... Genuinely, I don't know what any of these mean. Um, I really need to get better at Japanese. That... Um, it looks like biscuits. I don't know what this is. This is very interesting. This is whole grain biscuit flavour uh, Kit Kat. Now, basically, it's got whole grain biscuits kind of blended into the chocolate. That is interesting. I may have one of these to end the video, I think. Uh, I always try to do one little snack in the video. I think it's just weird. I'm really curious about how that will work or taste. I'm going to put that there for now. Uh, next up, oh, we have one more thing. Oh, oh, hello. Hello Mario and all Bowser, Super Mario, and this is gum, uh, as you guys can see, it's like a small bar of gum or whatever, very interesting, okay, let's see, well, let's see what flavour this gum is, this is Super Mario gum, so I'm going to guess it's like grape flavour or something, and apparently there are one of five designs, so one of them is Mario holding a mushroom, uh, however, ours is the Fated Boys. Um, yeah, that's cool. Um, you know, nice to have a little bit of gum. Uh, it's been pretty good on the gum front, I believe. And now, let me just double check I'm not missing anything. No, oh wait. <laughs> yes, I am missing something. Ooh, ooh, hello. Ah! Sa saku... Sour paper. Sour paper. Oh, sour paper. So sour paper? Um, okay. It's kind of a you know, gum, kind of a long roll of gum. Uh, it's sour flavour and it's kyancha, candy, candy, oh, okay, yeah. Um, cool. I'm gonna guess it's grape or something flavour then. Very interesting. This is sour paper candy. Uh, and yes, it is a grape flavour and obviously is sour. Um, but yeah, that, that's cool. I'm pretty sure I've had sour paper before. And it does what it says, really. It's really nice, and it is actually very, very sour. Now, I believe it is time for the drink of the crate. I always leave this to last, because they're always kind of interesting. Uh, ooh, ga... Ga... Oh, I can't read. Ga... Ki? 
What? Hang on. That's car, and that looks like the letter K. K E K D H A. I don't know what's going on. Uh, there's like there's a there's a geisha. Uh, this is by Kirin. I don't know what this is. Kyoto. Well, it's from Kyoto. Oh, that's really cool. It's from Kyoto, probably. I'm guessing. Um, I have no idea what this is. Hang on, wait. Refresh something. So this is something refreshing. But yeah, that is uh, very interesting. Let's see what this is. This is, of course, power water. Uh, it's kind of like a fruity carbonated drink. Very interesting. And honestly, there is heck of a weight to this. Like, it, it looks a bit like a gas stove for a uh, portable cooker when uh, when you go camping and stuff. That is really cool. I, I like the design of that. I'm going to keep this bottle once I've drunk the content. Yeah, cool, right. I'm going to organise everything now into a more sort of organised format and then we'll do the wrap-up and stuff. So see you in a minute. All right, I'm back and barely fitting everything into frame. So, uh, yeah, honestly, this has been quite an exciting uh, crate, actually. There's a lot of flavours I'm really curious about now. Power water, for sure, those shrimp things, uh, definitely. There's there's a lot. Uh, and, of course, the Kit Kat things, which I'm going to grab now. And grab one before I give a wrap-up. So, uh, if you do want to see the rest of the snacks, as I've said... I will be making a separate video uh, to kind of try the other things out. Um, and, you know, I, it's probably going to be a pretty packed video. I tried to do like eight, maybe ten snacks. I think this has melted quite heavily. Okay, so this has melted a lot, as you can tell. Uh, it has been an incredibly hot summer uh, the last, like, Two weeks or ever in the UK and I think all over the world really so right so I'm gonna snap one off there you go so this is a Kit Kat I mean it's mostly still there uh, right I'm gonna go give it a bite that's actually really interesting um so it's kind of got the regular sweetness of any of the Japanese Kit Kats like the white chocolate around it is always very nice anyway even if the underlying flavor isn't your thing most of the time they're really nice um but yeah it's kind of it's crunchier but it also kind of makes the Kit Kat feel more substantial I think because you're crunching through more than just the middle bit your mind kind of thinks like oh wow this is quite a big Kit Kat whereas it's actually not um but yeah it's quite an interesting texture um to be honest as I said it does just taste a little bit of white chocolate and biscuit because it's digestive biscuit that's what it's going to taste like but yeah this is actually pretty interesting and there we go so that is the final uh, wrap up so as the uh, booklet kind of thing says they're all themed about around traditional Japanese summer festivals which kind of makes sense you've got the senbei and all the crackers and stuff you've got the fruity drinks loads of peach stuff and grape and cola always a big fan of cola flavoured uh, you know, sweets and stuff. So yeah, honestly, this is, is quite a nice variety. I'm always kind of impressed as well by how many snacks are in the Japan crate. I know they are a bit expensive. I think this comes to about £30 or something, or it might be a little bit more. But it is genuinely quite, like, fun and a bit exciting every time I film one of these videos because I'll grab something and be like, OK, cool, this is the last item before the drink. And I'll put my hand in and be like, oh, there's another thing. Oh, wait, there's a second. Oh, there's, you know, there's loads. So, yeah, there, there's a nice variety. And I'm really looking forward to trying all of these. So stay tuned in about two or three weeks. I will be trying all of these things, or, well, most of them anyway, filming my, um, you know, my thoughts and stuff on them. So stay tuned on the channel for that. And yeah, that about wraps it up. I'll leave a playlist for my previous Japan Create videos as well. I've had some really cool ones in the past. And I'll leave YouTube to decide uh, like a random video at the bottom right there. And I'll leave you get on with it. So thank you guys very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.